News reaching us now says that the Federal Ministry of Education is shutting down federal government colleges amidst terrorist threats. They cannot bear it anymore. The, the threat has become um, almost a reality. They recognize now that these things are not just mere threat that the terrorists are ready to carry out what they have threatened and they have shut down federal government colleges. Just a reminder, please, to like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. We always bring all these breaking news, compelling content, and the juicy ones also. Right, the Federal Ministry of Education has directed the closure of all federal government colleges, all in Abuja, following security threats on the Unity schools located in the Federal Capital Territory. The Director of Press, Federal Ministry of Education, Mr. Ben Gung, confirmed to newsmen in Abuja today that the ministry had ordered the evacuation of students from the schools. Gung said the decision was as a result of rising insecurity and threat to the lives and well-being of the students. It will be recalled that some of the federal government colleges had been asked to vacate the school premises on July 20 while others will close on July 26. However, the federal government college in Wali had requested parents on July 24 to pick their children on Monday due to directives from the Federal Ministry of Education. So it has come very close to home. Federal government colleges in Abuja, the capital of Nigeria, the place where you have the headquarters of Nigeria police. In Abuja, you also have the headquarters of the Nigeria army. You have the headquarters of the Directorate of State Services, DSS, National Intelligence Agency, name it. Every security formation in Nigeria has their headquarters in Abuja. And now terrorists are circling Abuja. They are entering into the city. They have begun operations in Abuja, where you have all these headquarters of security formations. If Abuja is not safe, then the federal government has to close schools inside Abuja. Who is safe in Nigeria? Which state is safe? Which area is safe? Because the security of lives and property in Nigeria is handed over to these security formations who have their head offices in Abuja. And now they cannot even protect Abuja. They cannot protect common federal government colleges because terrorists have threatened that they will invade them and do whatever they want to do. And um, the Federal Ministry of Education does not even, they do not trust Nigerian security, they don't have any confidence that they could defend the school. And what are they doing? They are shutting down the schools. What does this tell you? One arm of the government cannot trust the other arm or arms of the same government. What does this tell you? Nigeria has become a banana republic is a failed nation, if it has ever been a nation. It's a failed country. In the federal capital territory where the president is uh, living and working, 
where all the federal ministers live and work, all the National Assembly members, all the security formations have their offices. Now, terrorists are forcing this government to close down schools in Abuja, and those schools are open in other parts of Nigeria. So they have the right target, they have targeted the seat of the government, and the government has no answer for the terrorists. They have no solution to resolve the issue. The only thing they do is fire is on the mountain. Everybody run, run, run. All the students should run back to their parents, stay there. And when they ask them, why are you not in school? They will say, we are closed because terrorists threatened our school and the government cannot protect us. So they told us to go home. Some of these students will travel, if by road, eight hours to get their homes or more. They will fly to different parts of Nigeria because the Unity School, Federal Government Colleges as they are called, is meant to have Nigerians from every other state in each, each of those schools. The intention is that they will harmonize, know each other uh, more. And then when they leave school, that, that spirit, that friendship will stay with them in order to build a united Nigeria or whatever you call it. But now, that spirit is dead because the students are not in school. University students in Nigeria are not in school. Their own is because the university lecturers and teachers are on strike. And now they're closing the colleges because terrorists are threatening them. I don't know, I don't understand what is going on. Why they still say that Nigeria is a country, a safe country. The Minister of Information was telling uh, foreign investors, don't mind what you're hearing, what the people are saying. Nigeria is safe. Yes, it's safe. <laughs> you're closing colleges. It is a shame. It is a pity. We don't know how we're going to get out of this situation. This APC government is the worst, worst thing that has ever happened to Nigeria since the so-called independence. They should be flushed out, swept away with the broom, which is their symbol. Right. We invite you, go to the comment section and tell us what you think about what is happening in Nigeria. The terrorists are growing wings. The bandits are becoming bolder. And now the federal government has no answer. Tell us what you think about this and then try to... Like this, share it, and also subscribe to our channel if you are new. And we'll see you in our next video.